Yeah, I think I'll start with just he only he only had eight two strike counts. There was a lot of action early. Looks like they looked like they really wanted to, to get off early you know, on a fastball change up mix. Really not a lot of the breaking ball in the mix today. <clears throat> Came down to pitch execution for, for Martin. Um, gave up uh, the, the, the 0-2 hits, the two out uh, RBI. I mean, we gave up four runs with two outs, um, two of which I believe were, were 0-2. Um, you, know, you know, had them in position. Felt like that we get, <clears throat> we make a pitch there, we get out of, out of a couple different innings, so incapable of doing that. So, so you guys had a winning homestand, but I guess, I guess you lost the last two series. Do you do you head out of town? How do you how do you feel heading out of town? Yeah, it's. I mean, obviously the the, the, the four games early. Um, I mean, anytime that you have a positive record, um, I, I think there's some. You need to take that for what it's worth. Is uh, it's still a positive record? Um, now there's there's some games that you know felt like that we had opportunities to to win which we didn't um, you know today a situation where <clears throat> had the 15 strikeouts on offense I mean they they had their game plan they were gonna you know only show fastball really and utilize the secondary stuff breaking stuff to to keep our guys off balance and you know, there were some situations today we chased some pitches out of the zone that. Um, Really didn't mount much of an offensive attack, but uh, to answer the question, Jeff, now you know we want to win series, but the, the ability to to go on the road with a positive record uh, at, at home, I think you got to you got to look at that as a plus. Uh, since you two had a very good game today and has been on fire this home stand, talk about his offensive performance and what you expect of him going forward. Well, look, we choose a, a, a veteran hitter, a guy that we we look for uh, to be that type of hitter that in our in our lineup to be an impact type hitter, on base guy, provide some power, extra bases, uh, but really just a, a tough at, at at bat. And it's nice to see him spark up and get going. And he's a guy that um, can be you know a hitter in the top of the lineup. Uh, set the table for us, but also uh, have a, a threat of the power. So that was, I mean, he's seen the ball well. The timing and rhythm is good. Uh, so uh, a plus for Chu. What, uh, you made a number of lineup changes over the course of this homestay, and that seems to be the biggest thing that went on with maneuvering the team. What do you feel like you got accomplished this homestay? Well, I think I look up at the board today and, you know, there was, I think first time um, since the start of the season that that really when you look at the batting averages, um, only one guy with sub 200 uh, batting average. We had some guys that sparked up that really started swinging the the bat well, and Gomez and um, you know Chu, um, you know the Shields um, guys that. And even even Odor had some had some positive at bats. I know it was a challenge for you today in, in a big situation, but I think that uh, some guys starting to find some rhythm at the plate. Um, that was really our goal as we uh, maneuvered some of the guys in the lineup to try to find some rhythm, uh, try to string at bats together. I think there was there was some of that. Obviously, not enough right now when you look up and there's only two runs on the board today, but. Um, those are we got to continue that process and you know, look for those positive bats, uh, push the line, uh, maneuver it, um, find the rhythm where where these guys fit best together so they can they can gain some traction and start putting some offensive runs on the board. What else? Uh, it seems like your April could have been better uh, had the bullpen maybe pitch a little better. Do you do? You f at 11 and 14, how do you feel about April? Yeah, look, the, we gave some games away early. I mean, four of which we we know, uh, and we do take some. I mean, that that's a little bit a little bit of a, a tough um, tough situation to look at. You can look at it on the negative side. I, you can look at it on the positive side. There was some early offense in the season that 
and then you know there was a lull there and then there's you know kind of a little bit up and down uh, however we feel like that uh, there's some guys in that bullpen that kind of shored up some spots um, we look at it as yes the record not in necessarily indicative it is what it is um, however we it's about winning baseball games and uh, you still got to put those positive wins and nail down wins when you when you get an opportunity and, and we didn't do that early you, I know you don't want to put too much emphasis on one series over another, but a big one in Houston coming up with a, an opportunity um, for you guys to make up some some ground and and establish yourselves a little bit. Is that safe to say? Oh, it's safe to say. That's a fair statement. Look, we're going into Houston. Um, need to play well, uh, all all facets of the game, uh, and uh, I feel like that starting pitching. Um, starts right there. I mean, we get we get the positive starts from from our starters. Uh, I believe this offense is, is starting to come. We've got to continue to to try to play clean defense and not mis make mistakes on the bases. Uh, and, and it is a place that uh, as you're looking up at at a team, whether it's April, May, June, July, August, September, you you, you want to play well. You want to uh, put some wins on the board. And need to start with tomorrow. You just mentioned you need to play well in all facets of the game. And I think you look back at the April, and there's been some games where the offense has really looked impressive. There's been some games where your starters have looked good. You've now had a stretch with your relievers that has looked good. But it, it's just looked like it's never, ever really fit together for any stretch. Is, is that in any way concerning for you? Or, or what do you take away from that? Look, Evan, there's all those – when you, when, you, when it's – tough to, to, to put all facets of the game together every single night. It is a challenge. It's not always, doesn't always work that way. Sometimes when your offense plays well, it does cover up some of those other uh, parts of the game. When your offense doesn't play well, and we're not putting it all on the offense, however, when um, you, you, you're challenged offensively, uh, other parts of the game, when they, when they do show up, it does uh, accentuate those. Um, so we need to, again, go back to <clears throat> getting the ball in the middle of the field, uh, have tough at-bats. Uh, when, when we do have, I think one of the offensively, when you look at um, where our challenges have been and it is runners in scoring position, runners at third base, less than two outs uh, of not walking away without driving in a run. The two out hits. We got beat today uh, with with two out run scoring opportunities that, that they were able to capitalize on. So you, you can combine the two. When we don't do that, and the other team does that, it, it it's a challenge to win baseball games. But when offense is is rolling and you're putting runs on the board, it does uh, seem to make some of those other parts of the the, the game look better. Jeff, it's not just your team. If you look around baseball, there's lots of bad batting averages in this first month. Do you make anything of that? Well, I make I mean, the first first blush is that uh, pitchers are throwing the ball well. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of information that uh, we're so much better at information gathering and, and putting together uh, attacks against hitters that – you know, and when pitchers can execute at a high rate and make it very challenging on hitters. Uh, so I, I would point to that for the uh, first part of that. 